Wow, we have an incredible number of games that have come to Boostroid just in the past few weeks. So let's take a look at the new games joining the library. It's incredible how many new games they've added. So as we covered, Baldur's Gate came. Baldur's Gate 3, this is a huge game. If you haven't tried it yet, you can try it on Boostroid. It's an amazing game. And in addition, we've got so many new games since then. Doom Eternal, Doom 3, Hollow Cure, The Te Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Bomb Rush, Cyberfunk, Entropy Effect, Desynced, Shadow Gambit, Smurfs Cart, Ship, Graveyard Simulator, Dwarves, Glory, Death and Loot, Detroit Become Human, Dave the Diver, Atlas Fallen, Darkest Dungeon, Saints Row, this is a big one, Blasphemous 2, Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition, Baldur's Gate 2 Enhanced Edition, Beyond, Two Souls, Heavy Rain, Deserts of Karak, Rage 2, Trine 5. This is incredible how many new games we have. I think that's more than 25 we have. 25 games, if we include Baldur's Gate. That is amazing. That is really, really impressive. And um, these, are, these are not just indie games. These are actually pretty big AAA games. Saints Row is a big, big game. Heavy Rain, Beyond, and the Baldur's Gate games, and Detroit Become Human. These are all uh, AAA games, which is really impressive to see how many games Boosteroid is getting like this. And not only that, but we can also see that they even have a, uh, a updates to the actual to the actual um, application. This was the newest one, version 1.6.8, which was released on the seventh fixed the bug that caused the oops message after the session was switched to another device, fixed the cause of crash which could sometimes happen in the decoding module when processing incoming video stream on very poor connections, fixed the bug with saving the authentication token that caused the user author authorization to be reset, fixed the bug due to which the stream control with the gamepad sometimes disappeared when the client did not connect to the nearest data center, and in some other cases added a distinction between left right modifier buttons alt control shift so this is such a great thing for boostroid and then we also do have naruto naruto to boruto shinobi striker and the biggest one the really big one armored core 6 this is absolutely huge and these are both in the install section but this is absolutely huge because um, Armored Core 6, you know, it's a massive game, really, really huge game. You can see probably the trailer. If I look on uh, Steam, it's a, it's a pretty highly rated game as well. 87 on Metacritic. And yeah, uh, I haven't tried it myself, but I've heard it's a really, really incredible game. It's really amazing to see these games have come to Boosteroid and they're continually improving the service. I'm really, really happy just seeing how far cloud gaming is going and massive number of games that you can play all of these games remember you don't need to download them you don't need to install them on your own hardware you do not need to download and wait for them and put all of that pressure on your own system you can play them in an application so this also means you can be doing other things on your computer because your computer won't be, the resources won't be taken up by the game. So if you wanted to have a few other windows open, like a YouTube window open, something you can watch in the background while you play your game, that won't affect your frame rate because this is all being rendered in the cloud. So that's something really nice you can do with cloud gaming. But yeah, it's incredible. This, this game looks amazing. Uh, if you're a fan of mecha games, then Armored Core 6. It's on Boostroid now. And make sure you check it out. Make sure you check out Boostroid. I'm really, really, really impressed with what they're doing with the service. And I don't see how native gaming, local gaming, is going to really compete in the in the long term. Because the, the biggest thing missing from cloud gaming that was preventing it from really 
taking over and really taking off was the fact that it was lacking the games basically but that is completely solved with Boostroid and yeah it makes me very excited for the future of cloud gaming it also makes you wonder how long can local gaming continue to exist when you can play everything pretty much everything you want to play on the cloud with Boostroid services like Boostroid I think the only real reason for local gaming nowadays is if you want to have the best latency obviously competitive gaming would be the one situation but apart from that there's no real reason not to use cloud gaming nowadays to play all of the games and yeah they're also doing giveaways here Boostroid Friday giveaway if you join the discord highly recommend doing it and yeah Trine 5 that's also a new game that they've added recently and if you're a fan of uh, Naruto I highly recommend getting Boosteroid you can try that game Naruto to borrow to I've never tried it myself but they do look very interesting games so yeah I'm also very much looking forward to when they add the 4k servers that would be amazing playing all of these games in 4k I, I cannot wait I'm so excited for that so yeah stay tuned and we'll have more Boostroid updates coming soon so if you're a fan of Boostroid make sure you stay tuned we'll have all of the latest news thank you for watching